Hello and welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle, and today we went to the mailbag or the Facebook inbox and one of our fellow students of the gun, he asked us, he said, can you provide me with a practical list for a bug out bag? Uh, and it's kind of a loaded question because what's practical for me may not be practical for you where you live. However, there are certain universal things such as even if you're in Alaska, Florida, Maine, Arizona, every human being has to have water, right? Every human being has to have food, you need to have clothing and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to examine uh, my bug out bag, my personal bug out bag, the one that I keep in my truck and that's always ready to go. All right, this pack right here is an Eagle Pack. Uh, it's not a cheap pack. It's not one of your made in China packs. And I know a lot of you guys out there might be thinking, well, man, I'm looking for a pack. And so I went on Amazon and I found one that's about the size I want. And then I started price shopping and I found the cheapest one because it was only $29. I'm like, woohoo. Well, here's the reality of it a $20 pack is a $20 pack. It's never going to be an Eagle pack or a Black Hawk pack or, or your Camelback. Uh, and the first time you take that the cheapest pack you could find and fill it full of gear throw it in the back of a vehicle grab it and pull it out i can almost guarantee you it's going to fail on you and you know and, and when you're in a bug out situation the emergency situation where you're fighting for your life or you're struggling for your life that's not the time to have cheap gear uh, if you want to go cheap, rock on, but just understand, it's like buying a $10 holster. A $10 holster is never going to be a Galco holster or a Crossbreed or what have you. It's always just going to be a cheap $10 holster. So, first of all, starting out with the pack. Uh, this pack right here, it has multiple compartments, which is good. You have little ones, big ones, bulk ones, and so forth. Now, I don't get on a vehicle. I will not get on a vehicle, whether it's a truck, a plane, uh, you know, whatever, without some type of food and water on me with me because you don't know where you're going to end up that's the whole point of a bug out bag is you don't know if you knew what was going to happen well you wouldn't need a freaking bug out bag would you no you wouldn't so in the outside compartment right here what i've got is i like i've got a just a regular old bottle of water just to get me started and then what I also have is I have one of those Aquamira, it's an Aquamira filtration bottle. And this is one of the ones with the, uh, um, not, it's the filter will, says it will uh, filter out 99.99% of all harmful bacteria, heavy metal stuff, uh, things like that, toxins. So this water gets me started, but if I needed to, I could take this, I could refill it in a stream or lake or a pond or a puddle or whatever and uh, I believe this particular filter is good for a couple of hundred gallons of water so plenty of water now food MREs are good it's always good to have some type of food uh, MREs are ready to go you just tear them open and start eating them you could have dehydrated food now dehydrated food is lightweight uh, it takes up very little room however what do you need you got to have enough water to soak it up to eat it if you're in an emergency situation and there's a bulk water source somewhere, let's say they've got a big uh, water jug or a water bowl, you're going to have to have a reservoir of some kind to get the water out. I mean, they're not just going to let you hang out and put your mouth under the spigot and just keep you know drinking from the spigot every time you're thirsty. So uh, I've, I've got a little folding, fold-up water bottle here. Uh, really cool little item. They weigh next to nothing. They're relatively inexpensive but it'll hold 16 ounces of water. So uh, if, if I had a, like I said, a bulk reservoir that I was refilling from, I could fill this up, take it with me. Uh, emergency kits, uh, this kit right here I got from Adventure Medical Kits. It's got one of those super cool space blankets. It's got the emergency matches and all that good stuff. Neat thing about this is it's actually in a waterproof pouch, so I just got it, threw it in there. Now, other things that you might need. Uh, in, in the back of this bag right here, when when I pack this bag and I have it ready to go, I'm packing it assuming that I might need to grab it and take it with me in an emergency or in the worst of situations. So what do I have here? Well, I have a Black Hawk rain suit. That's right, I have the complete suit. I've got the top part and I've got the matching bottom part. I've got myself a Black Hawk Shemog so I can wipe off my face. Uh, if you've never used a Shemog, uh, they're this is a cheap piece of cloth or an inexpensive piece of cloth that's good for a thousand uses. So, you yeah, have got that. Uh, what else do I keep in here? Well, 
like I said, if it's an emergency, I actually keep a, a rolled up t-shirt and a spare pair of drawers in there. Imagine this, I just think about it like this, you know, if, if I were to have to grab this thing and I had nothing else to keep me warm, fed, clothed, but what was in that bag, what would I put in there? So, and obviously you can uh, put whatever you want in it. Now in the back right here, what do I have? Oh, look at that. It's a Z-Core rust resistant, corrosion resistant bag. And what is inside my Z-Core bag? Well, let's take a look. Well, look at that. It's a Keltec P11. And that's right, this Keltec P11, as I record this, has been in that bag, in this pack, in my truck, in, out, in, out, moving all around for something like almost six months. It is completely rust free. Now you say, well, Keltec, you know, Keltec P11 might not be your primar primary gun, but it is something. Let's, like we said, if you fell out naked and all you had was this bag, would you have enough gear to take care of yourself? Now, when it comes to gear, I've got medical gear on the outside here. I've got a blowout kit. I have some boo-boo stuff like aspirin and band-aids and neosporin and what have you. I've got big stuff like gauze and tourniquets and decompression needles and whatnot. But it's going to be up to you. What you have to consider, though, is every human has certain needs. You need to have water. You know, all the ammo and gear and food and all that cool ninja stuff is for naught if you don't have any fresh water to drink. Because guess what, brother? Go 24 hours without drinking some water and tell me how you feel. You ain't going to be feeling too good. So water, check. Food, check, because your body needs energy. And when it comes to bug out bags, you're going to need something to defend it with. So I always have something, some type of a tool in my bug out bag to defend it with. Now, what is our book of the day? Well, hang on a second right there, and I'll tell you what our book of the day is. Our recommended reading for today is, that's right, it's the Duck Book or the Duck Commander Book. Now, the actual title of this is The Duck Commander Family, How Faith, Family, and Ducks Built a Dynasty. Now, for those of you who haven't checked it out, uh, I really do enjoy uh, the uh, Duck Dynasty show. Yes, I know that a lot of it is scripted. I don't care. Uh, I, I, I actually learned about the Duck Dynasty guys several years ago. I didn't know what they were all about, and Benelli became one of their corporate sponsors, provided them with shotguns, and I talked to my friends at Benelli, and they said, no, they are, Paul, they're not just TV people or whatever. They're really solid, down-to-earth people, and this, was, this is something that uh, I was told way before the TV show ever came about. So I've been reading this book. I'm actually only about halfway done with this book right now, but it, it's a good read. It's, it's an easy read. It's full of uh, interesting facts about the family and interesting items. What we're going to do is we'll put the, the link up for you right down below there. So you guys, if you want to order one, you just click on it and order it. So for all things student of the gun, what are you going to do? Well, obviously, you're going to go to studentofthegun.com.